In this video, we'll have an introduction to the periodic table. So here we have the periodic table. The elements on the periodic table are arranged in order of increasing atomic number, which is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. So we start with atomic number one, which is hydrogen. Then we move to atomic number two, which is helium. And then down to number three, which is lithium. Number four, beryllium. Number five, boron. Number six, carbon and so on. The elements are arranged into groups, which are vertical columns, and periods, which are horizontal rows. And we'll look at those in more detail next. Groups and periods. A group is a vertical column from top to bottom. Elements in the same group contain the same number of electrons in the outer energy level. The groups are numbered from 1 to 18. A period is a horizontal row from left to right. The period number is the number of occupied energy levels in the atom. So here we have the group, which is a vertical column. So we have group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, and so on. And here we have a period, which is a horizontal row. So period 1 is hydrogen to helium. Period 2 is lithium to neon. Period 3 is sodium to argon. Period 4 is potassium to krypton, and so on. Next, we'll have a look at the group names. So group 1 are known as the alkali metals. Group 2 are the alkaline earth metals. Group 7 are the halogens, which means salt formers. Group 8 are the noble gases. Groups 3 to 12 are the transition metals. Elements La to Lu are the lanthanoids, and elements Ac to Lr are the actinoids. And finally, we'll have a look at where the metals, the non-metals, and the metalloids are on the periodic table. So the elements shaded in light blue, they are all metals, and they are located on the left of the periodic table. The elements shaded in the purple color, they are metalloids, or semi-metals, and the elements shaded in yellow, they are the non-metals, and they are found mostly on the right side of the periodic table. 